Yo, welcome back to the house where we talk new celebrities and hot topics. Listen, the Real Housewives of Potomac returns October 6th. We got the trailer. I don't even want to talk about these outfits and these uh, photographs because I just kind of feel like the green don't look good to me. I feel like Karen looked like uh, she belongs in uh, that Ariana Grande movie uh, with the Oz and what uh, not. She needs to be playing uh, Oz and Wizard of Oz. Um, I feel like Mia's hair is distracting with that, uh, you know, bleach blonde. I don't like it. And then she's wearing like a totally different green from everybody else. And I feel like the variants of green don't match. I feel like why is Ashley Darby here? Kiana Stewart looks amazing. Wendy looks amazing. Giselle looks okay. Uh, the new girl, Stacy, just, you know, looks like Stacy. And I just kind of feel like, yeah, meh, meh on these photos. Was not impressed. I don't really like the matchy, 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 matchy. Everybody wears red. Everybody wears yellow. Everybody wears green. Let's get out of that. I'm not a fan of that. It's corny to me. It's a little corny to me. Am I the only one who feels that way? Let me know how y'all feel about everything in the comments down below. Listen, I wanted to very quickly just go over some of the things as far as the trailer is concerned. I am not going to be too harsh of a critic on to the trailer. I think the trailer is better than these photos. I think the trailer is better than these variants of green. Um, I didn't think it was that bad. I found myself to be interested in the situation. So it is what it is. Let's go ahead and talk about it. Dr. Wendy to you, sweetie, is getting along with Wendy. I find it rather interesting that all of a sudden Candace Dillard Bassett leaves the situation and then you have Wendy, uh, you know, um, you know, being real cool with and friendly with Giselle, which is great. I mean, we love uh, building bridges and we love friendships as long as they're authentic. I feel like it's probably authentic from Wendy's standpoint. I'm sure Wendy has wanted to be a friend of Giselle's for a really long time now. But I don't really find it to be authentic of Giselle. Giselle is evil. She's one half of reasonable and evil. And I just kind of feel like uh, the intentions are not pure. So Dr. Wendy to you, sweetie, watch your back. I kind of feel like now that Robin is gone, she needs somebody to leech on to. Now that Candace is gone, Wendy needs somebody to leech on to. And I guess they found each other okay and uh you know later on in the trailer we find out i guess they're playing a game of who would you who would you rather they playing some game child and like they ask wendy they go who you want to have sex with and she go i want to fuck giselle and i was like what okay Okay, this is getting weird. Anyways, moving right along, we have Miss Stacy Rush Roosh. Somebody fact check me on what her name is in the comments down below. Listen, her man here is sporting a GNA t shirt. What the fuck going on? They must be going to the GNA event. Listen, I guess that's all he can wear because what's going on with GNA? GNA update. Okay, GNA update, GNA update. Let's see if there are any new fashions on the GNA website i mean we do this every so often and i am going to be so happy to report child okay listen listen there's nothing new on the website no new fashions however we do have a new development you can get the gna tank top for a whopping zero dollars and zero cent hold on hold on hold on Look at this. Zero dollars and zero cent. Boom. Now let's see if they charge me shipping if I buy it. Okay, let's go to this. I want a medium. Okay. Let's do one. Oh, pre-order. You got to pre-order this shit. Okay, check out. $32. Hold up. It said from zero earlier. Now it's saying 32. Cha. Okay. Well, I guess the GNA tank top is $32. It's not free. Okay. It was too good to be true. It was too good to be true. Let me show y'all. Okay. $32. It's not zero. It's 32. Anyways. So, um, yeah, very interesting situation. So, her man, apparently, I don't know if they're married yet, but the way they made it seem like in the trailer, it seemed like they weren't married and like they're saving themselves for marriage, which is very interesting. Listen, I don't necessarily, I think that's 
good in a way, health wise and emotionally. I think it's smart to save yourself for marriage. Realistically, mm, because I'm the type of person where it's like, what if yo dick just don't do it for me? You get what I'm saying? Like, what, if, what if it's not a match? What if it's like, anyways, let me know how y'all feel about that. Um, so that's cute. They're saving themselves. Good luck. Um, then we also have Kiarna. There's this scene where Kiarna is arguing with Darby and Darby is asking about the scar. I guess that's on Kiarna's face or whatever. I'm not sure to what exactly they're referring to. I don't know if they're talking about Kiarna and the fight that she had with little Debbie Kate. Uh, remember Kiana did file a lawsuit, uh, against Miss Debbie, excuse me, for basically antagonizing that whole fight situation at the club during the GNA grand opening and things like that. I don't know if she was talking about being beat up from that situation because remember they dragged her to the ground like Kiana was getting that ass. Kiana was tagging that ass. Kiana was beating that ass up. And then a little Debbie Cakes and her friends dragged her down by her hair. And then it was kind of like everybody was holding Kiana down. And then Debbie got some licks in and then, you know, started punching Kiana in her face. And then Kiana had to go to the emergency room and get some stitches. So I don't know if they're talking about the scars from little Debbie punching Kiana in the head or if they're talking about Kiana in another situation, like a domestic violence situation with a man, I'm not too sure about the situation, but I'll be tuned in. I'm glad Kiarna got a flute, so it's going to be interesting. Okay, Dr. Wendy, she looks so, 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 so good. I mean, I love her hair and her makeup. Whoever does the hair and makeup. Wendy, I hope you paint your people real, 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 real good. Okay, listen. We got Dr. Wendy to you, sweetie, versus uh, Karen Huger. Speaking of Karen Huger, we will get a little bit about her DUI and her running into trees and her being a drunk. Okay, her being the black version of Shannon uh, Bedore. We will get that situation. But we will also get a situation where I believe it's Mia dropping a bomb that, you know, Karen Huger has been going around telling people that she believes that Dr. Wendy to you, sweetie, is self-absorbed which is really rich coming from Karen Huger, who calls herself the Grand Dom of Potomac, right? So I don't know what's up with that, but Wendy is very sad at the situation, hence her cry ball, not a cry angle, but a cry ball, child. And she says, of course, as you can see, I wouldn't have expected that from you, Karen. Okay, moving right along. Then we have the radio personality, Mr. Incognito, versus Gordon, Mia's men, okay, you got Mia's husband versus Mia's boyfriend, a very interesting situation, he says, stand on business, granddaddy, so I guess we're going to get a situation where all three of them have like a sit down or really a stand up, because nobody was sitting down, they were all standing up, and they talk through their issues, apparently, okay, if you can recall, Mia left Gordon, because I don't really know why Mia left Gordon. Like at first she was saying it was the money and he was broke, but then she was saying that he was depressed and just wanted to stay home and do nothing. But then she was saying how she was always in love with incognito. But then she was saying that I think he admitted to having like schizophrenia, not schizophrenia. He admitted to having some sort of mental disorder. Y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. Okay, he he admitted to having something which made him like super, super angry and super mean and hard to get along with. So listen, their relationship just confuses me. And honestly, I feel like I'm so confused that at this particular point in time, I just don't care. Um, so yeah. And Mia and this hair, this really, really bright blonde hair is so distracting. You're not Phaedra Parks. Please stop it. It doesn't match your skin tone. Okay, moving on. Um, okay, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, and to top it all off, guess who just went onto Twitter to comment on the situation? Miss Candace Dillard Bassett. You guys, somebody went onto Twitter and said that Real Housewives of Potomac trailer was very underwhelming. That show really ain't shit without at the real Candace. And y'all, Candace responded and said, child, 
Thank you. And I oop and I oop and I oop. Is she agreeing that the show ain't shit without her? She says, child, thank you, but it's an ensemble cast for a reason. No one person can make the whole show. Y'all have fun with whatever is going to go. Mm -hmm. To be honest at the situation, I don't even think Candace Dillard Bassett should be a uh, commentant on those ladies. I mean, of course, she can say what the hell she want to say. Um, but I feel like, you know, she's married to her uh, husband with the brown dick, Mr. Chris Bassett, who we absolutely love and adore. She's about to have her first child. Um, she's glowing. Her music career is popping off. So I just kind of feel like don't even give the ladies the time of day. Don't even mention Giselle. Don't even think about Giselle. Think about having a beautiful, beautiful baby, a beautiful, healthy baby. Let me know how y'all feel about the situation. Do you feel like the trailer was underwhelming? Do you feel like it needed some pizzazz? Do you feel like the show is going to suffer without the likes of Candace Dilla Bassett starring alongside the ladies? Let's talk about it. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to create a great day.